Hi, I am Dr. Hiranapa, pulmonologist practicing at Inspire Speciality Clinic at Sakarnagar. Smoking is the biggest risk factor for a lot of other diseases. It's a risk factor for COPD, it's a risk factor for lung cancer, it's a risk factor of various other cancers and heart diseases. It's, it's the biggest risk factor and it's a reversible risk factor. In, if you stop smoking, you can prevent a lot of things. And one of the way to screen in a smokers, objectively, so some people are willing to quit. It's addict forming and it's a high amount of nicotine dependence. So what happens in um, smokers? How do you screen? So once the patient comes to us, we ask the smoking history, how much whether they smoke BD, whether they smoke cigarettes and how many pack years they have every day how much smoke if the first day in the morning there's a urge to smoke and whenever they try to quit smoking they get any withdrawal symptoms like sweating urge to smoke again and because of the peer pressures they end up smoking again these are the symptoms we look at it and once they are seen the first thing is just do a simple screening x-ray and uh, see if there are any changes of copd normally the x-ray will be normal sometimes there will be a prominent bronchovascular markings, what we call as a dirty lung picture. So that might be a manifestation. So the patients can be seen suddenly in an emergency with acute exacerbation as a first episode of COPD where they come with a pneumonia or this kind, but normally these are during exacerbation. Normally on a routine screening, these are the manifestation, bronchial wall thickening, you know, vascular markings are prominent. These are the changes we see in a X-ray. Very rarely if there is a high index, you can find a small nodule in the lung which can be a first sign of a cancer which requires further evaluation so other thing tool because uh, in the lung there will not be much changes since it affects the airway uh, pulmonary function test or a spirometry which is called or a peak flow meters normally used in asthma and uh, because since it measures in the first second and even the copd is of small airway diseases we need to do a full spirometry or a lung function test it's called or a pulmonary function test it's called there we see the following changes normal spirometry will rule out copd whereas unlike asthma so what happens in the changes the first changes means if you see a flow volume loop there may be a coing of expiratory limb or there might be a small airway obstruction sometimes there will be a large airway obstruction and if you do a reversibility testing, there will be a partial reversibility. That confirms it is COPD. Symptoms of COPD. The first symptoms is cough. Initially dry on exposure to dust or this thing. During winter bronchitis they can get. In a seasons of winter they get cough with expectation, sometimes greenish or yellowish. Initially that might be uh, first symptoms in a mild COPD. As a disease progresses, you can have breathlessness, breathlessness on exertion, okay. If you take a rest, it will improve and gradually it will keep progressing. Sometimes associated with wheezing sound and uh, it's more on exertion. And as it really, really progresses, you can have other symptoms like you can have swelling of face, swelling of limbs when the COPD is really progressive. Mainly, the symptoms of COPD are cough with expectation and breathlessness with or without wheeze. Mm -hmm.